only at the Indianapolis Zoo. Hi, I'm Lewis Single. I'm the area manager here at the Deserts Biome. And here we are behind the scenes. Not an area that a lot of people get to see, but we're making an exception today. So one animal I'm gonna bring out for everybody to see here is Wendell. He's a Mally spiny-tailed lizard. And he lives inside this little enclosure. So there he is in the back. I'm gonna reach in and grab him because he does very well with being handled by myself or other interpreters. We can bring Wendell out for guests to get close up to. He's what we call an ambassador animal, an animal that, that we bring for the public to see. <clears throat> he gets his name because he's got obviously this big spiny thick tail here. What he does is he'll climb into a hole and leave that spiky tail sticking out the back end so if something climbs down the hole to try to get to him, he can use that like a club and thrash that side to side and scare animals away. In my hands right now, he feels nice and hot. At his basking site under that lamp where he likes to get nice and warm, he's at, he can get to almost 120 uh, degrees Fahrenheit and that's hot for humans, but that's just how Wendell likes it. Uh, we also strive to work with critically endangered species. There's a lot that zoos can do to help animals like this, a radiated tortoise, one of the most heavily trafficked animals in the world. People will often steal them from their natural habitat in Madagascar and smuggle them off into the pet trade or even into the food market. This is an adult male, uh, but recently here at the Indianapolis Zoo, we had some tortoise eggs hatch. And across the way here, I have some of those babies. So we're obviously very proud that those eggs hatched. And believe it or not, this is a small tortoise, but they were even tinier when they hatched out of those eggs. So this is great because zoos all around the country work together to make sure that the radiated tortoise species is doing strong in zoos and aquariums. And that way we can protect the wild tortoises so that when and if they do get trafficked or problems continue in Madagascar that lead to their populations continuing to decline, we still have a really great healthy population of tortoises here in zoos. Now it's time to go into the venomous room where we have some of our more dangerous snakes. Very important part of becoming a keeper here in the desert biome is that you're trained how to, you know, to safely work with venomous animals. With non-venomous snakes, we can use our hands and tongs and things, but we have to be extra careful with, with venomous snakes like this rattlesnake. And so we can use what's called a snake hook as kind of a extension of our body, but an extension that's metal and can't get envenomated. So I can reach in here, say, how do you, how do, you do to this little snake, this Massasauga? Pick him up and bring him out so that we can get him safely into a bucket. I set him down in there. So we don't hold mambas or rattlesnakes or cobras like this. Those are all worked in a different way. Uh, but this is the one exception because he's just a unique animal from, again, from Madagascar. This is our Mexican rosy boa. And she's ready to say goodbye. Thanks for visiting us here in the desert biome behind the scenes at the Indianapolis Zoo. I'm Lewis and thanks for stopping by.